Hi shark fans and welcome to the shark channel. I'm Jacob and I'm here to show people the true colors of sharks. Sharks are incredible predators, probably the greatest recorded predators of all time. But what is a shark's favorite food? I mean, they don't have pizza or hamburgers. So what meals do sharks enjoy? And which animals are worth sharks time to go after? And no, it's not people. Anyways, let's get into it. So what do sharks eat? Sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Sharks range from about the size of your hand to larger than a school bus. So to do this, I'm gonna divide the sharks into, into five groups. The really small sized carnivores, the small sized carnivores, the medium sized carnivores, the large carnivores, and the filter feeders. Don't worry, I will be explaining what each of these mean throughout the video. So first, the really small sized carnivores. So, for those of you who don't know already, a carnivore is an animal whose diet consists 100% of meat. Okay, so the really small sized carnivores range from about 8 inches to about 3 feet. So, these sharks tend to eat shrimp, small fish, and shellfish, and sometimes even really small octopi and squid. The cookie cutter shark will actually take small cookie shaped bites, hence their name, out of large prey like whales who barely notice them be because of their size. So most sharks actually fall under this category, being less than 4 feet long. Yep, I said it. Most sharks are actually less than 4 feet long. Most sharks are not even remotely close to the great white or tiger shark, which grow more than 15 feet in length. So now for the slightly bigger sharks, being 4 to 6 feet in length. These sharks tend to eat shellfish, bigger bony fish like tuna, shrimp, squid, octopi, smaller sharks, and other cartilaginous fishes. The tasseled wobegong will actually camouflage themselves by sitting on the ocean bed, usually on reefs, waiting for unsuspecting prey to come by. And when they do, the shark will launch themselves at the prey and eat it. It's really scary actually, because sometimes you think that the reef is eating the prey. And now for the medium sized sharks, being 7 to 10 feet in length. They eat bigger stuff. They eat stingrays and other rays, big bony fish like tuna, shellfish, shrimp, normal sized octopi and squid, smaller sharks, sea snakes, and even small marine mammals and turtles. The spinner shark will actually spin through balls of fish, separating them, and then they're even spinning after they come out of the water, hence their name. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the big carnivorous sharks, 11 plus feet in length. They eat basically everything. Small whales, dolphins and other marine mammals, big fish, birds, sea turtles, sea snakes, other sharks. The great hammerhead has been known to eat their own babies or pups for sharks, which honestly makes people like Darth Vader or Homer Simpson look like good parents. They also eat rays. The great hammerhead is also known to, for being immune to stingray barbs. One caught off the coast of Florida had just under 196 to be exact stingray barbs in its throat. Honestly, they'll eat anything they can put in their mouths. Greenland sharks have eaten polar bears, tiger sharks have eaten deer antlers, drums, license plates, and a great white shark has even eaten a full suit of armor. I mean, that's probably not what I would eat, but who knows, maybe it tastes good. No one's ever tried. Okay, let's move on to the filter feeders. For those of you that don't know, a filter feeder is an animal who strains really small prey like krill or plankton from the water through specific mechanisms that depend on the species. If you don't know what plankton is, plankton is a microscopic oceanic producer that supplies more than 50% of the oxygen that you breathe today. So ironically, the three shark filter feeders just so happen to be some of the biggest sharks in the world. The first is the biggest fish in the world, the whale shark which can grow over 40 feet in length, which is larger than a school bus. The second is the basking shark, the second largest fish in the world. This shark can grow to over 35 feet in length. And the third is the megamouth shark, which can grow to just about 20 feet in length. This just goes to show that the great white shark is not even close to the biggest shark. The whale shark is, by a lot. And whale sharks have been known to be harmless around divers. The great white shark is the largest carnivorous or predatory fish, which means that it's the biggest fish that eats meat, but that doesn't mean that it's the biggest shark in the world by any means. Anyways, because the plankton are so small and the filter feeding sharks are so big, that means that they have to eat a lot of plankton per day. A 20 foot whale shark, which is still pretty small, 
will eat 46 pounds of plankton a day, according to sharks.org. So, you could just imagine how much plankton a 40-foot whale shark will eat in a day. I also want to address one more point that you may be asking yourselves. What's all the hype about sharks attacking humans? Are humans tasty to sharks? So, I'm not a shark, so I can't be 100% sure, but I can give my hypothesis. My hypothesis is that sharks don't enjoy eating humans. Here's why. Humans are skinny. We have very little fat on us. It's like eating a chicken bone instead of eating the actual meat on the chicken. It's not very tasty, right? I think that's how sharks feel, feel about us. They would much rather eat something big and fatty like a seal or sea lion. So if sharks don't enjoy eating humans, why do they sometimes attack them? I think the answer is because sharks often mistake people for prey. A great example of this is when tiger sharks attack surfers. Looking below at a surfboard, it sort of looks like a sea turtle, which is a tiger shark's favorite prey. So a lot of the time, it's because sharks mistake people for prey. Sharks rarely, if ever, come back for a second bite because at that point, they know you're not prey and then they leave. Nevertheless, sharks are incredibly large animals and even a test bite from an animal that large can cause serious harm. Never, however, attacks on humans are very rare and sharks are normally not that aggressive towards people. So to sum this up, sharks are incredibly dangerous animals, if you're a seal. So that's what sharks see. What about how sharks hunt their prey, the mechanisms that they use, and some of the factors that make them be able to hunt so well? Join me on this adventure to continue learning about these amazing creatures. I'm Jacob Astroff signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.